Leo III was the Eastern Roman Emperor from March 25th, 717, until June 18th, 741 AD. His reign began when he ended the 20 years' anarchy by overthrowing Theodosius III, a former imperial bureaucrat and tax collector who was more or less forced to become emperor and acted as a puppet for the generals who were at the time controlling the empire. Leo organized an army and marched into Constantinople and overthrew Theodosius and was crowned the new emperor. A few months into his reign, Leo faced a huge threat to his empire, the second Arab siege of Constantinople, which began in the summer of 717 AD. The Umayyad Caliphate wanted to destroy the Eastern Roman Empire and sent a massive army of over 120,000 soldiers and a navy consisting of 1,800 ships to attack the city. The Eastern Romans received assistance from the Bulgarians, along with their king, Turbo, who recently converted to Christianity along with his subjects. The siege of Constantinople lasted over a year, but despite having a larger army and navy, the Eastern Romans used a secret weapon called Greek fire to their advantage. They were able to destroy most of the Arab fleet, breaking their naval blockade. The Arab army was also defeated in combat by the Bulgarians, along with the extreme conditions of the region, which the invaders weren't familiar with. After driving the Arabs from his capital, Leo had to deal with a depleted empire, which was occupied by barbarians and depopulated due to constant war and invasions. A year after the siege of Constantinople ended, former Emperor Anastasius II tried to lead a rebellion in 719. Bulgarian King Tervils fully supported Anastasius, claimed to the crown, and allied himself with the former emperor by giving him soldiers and financial support. Anastasius and his army marched towards Constantinople and tried to bribe the guardian of the gates to open the doors, but his plot was discovered, and he was beheaded on the orders from Leo III, along with his co-conspirators and the guardian of the gates. After dealing with Anastasius and the ever-looming threat of an invasion from the Arabs, Leo rebuilt the imperial army, repopulated the empire by bringing in converted barbarians to settle vacated provinces, restructured the law and civil codes, by introducing the Eclogia, bringing relief to the common folk, much to the chagrin of the Eastern Roman nobles and the church. Leo also instituted forced baptisms of all the subjects within the empire, including Jews and followers of the New Prophecy sects. He also introduced iconoclasm. Iconoclasm was hotly debated within the empire. Leo felt that venerating icons was a craft of idolatry, which was forbidden according to the Ten Commandments, and felt simple religious art was more suitable to enforce this new law of venerating icons, he ordered a series of edicts from 726 through 729 AD. The Patriarch of Constantinople, Germanus I, resigned from his position in 730 AD for refusing to implement the rule and was quickly replaced by a patriarch of his choosing, Anastasius. Roman Catholic popes Gregory II and III were angered by Leo's decision to ban icons and threatened to excommunicate iconoclasts, and the exiarch of Ravenna even revolted and left the empire over the new law. In the waning years of his life, Leo began to groom his son Constantine to become his successor and the next ruler of the Eastern Roman Empire. Leo III died on June 18, 741 AD at the age of 56 from Edemia, and was buried in the Church of the Holy Apostles. Thanks for watching another episode of the Byzantine History of the Eastern Roman Empire. My name is Joseph Ulibas, and I hope to see you soon. And if you enjoyed this series, please subscribe to this channel.